Hello and welcome to the Arduino Spot Welder project. In this video I'm going to show you how to build a spot welder for 18650 batteries. The first prototype I made without a real PCB, but as you can see on the back side it's a big mess with the wires. So I decided to make a real PCB and build it again to make a clean build. You can find the links to the parts list and the eagle files in the description. Let's begin! Now we have to solder all the components to the PCB. Start with the small ones and then work your way up to the bigger ones. All the components are through hole parts so they are very easy to solder. When soldering the headers for the Arduino Nano make sure to stick them to the Arduino first and then with the Arduino attached stick them to the PCB. Using this method you don't get alignment problems so it's easy to stick them to the board and then you can just solder all the pins. At the end, check if all pins are connected correctly, so you don't have any cold soldering spots. In the last step, solder a power wire to the board. In my case I choose a JST connector. The board takes an input voltage of about 7 to 12 volt, but it works best with 12 volt. Now we need to do some mechanical work. To guide the high current from the MOSFETs to the welding cable, we need a piece of aluminum. Print out the eagle board to get a nice template, which helps us to mark the spots where to drill the holes to mount the MOSFETs. After cutting the template out, Transfer it to a piece of aluminum, so you can cut out the aluminum to the right shape. Then stick the template with some glue stick to the aluminum. Mark the spots where the holes need to be drilled with a nail. This way the drill will center into these spots and you will get very precise drills. Now we have to mount the aluminum to the power board and to the MOSFETs. To do this use M3 screws and secure them with M3 nuts. Make sure your screws are just long enough to mount the nuts to them. If they are longer you won't be able to stick the two boards together later. Like in my case I used two long screws so I had to remove them later and replace them with shorter ones. After tightening all the nuts you can solder the pins of the MOSFETs. Because there is a little mistake in the first prototype design, there was soldering mask applied onto the traces between the main power lines and the MOSFET pins. I had to remove the solder mask to get solder onto these lines to reinforce them. But this mistake is already corrected in the actual Eagle files. Add plenty of solder to it because there will be high currents going through these traces later. Now we can add the wire which will be connected to the battery's minus pole. This is a 16 square millimeter wire which I bend to a U-shape, tint it and then soldered it to the board. To solder it use a high power soldering iron. I used a 60 watt one because otherwise you won't get the solder to melt. While soldering it, push it down to the board with a screwdriver or something, so it lays flat onto the board and you get a good connection. This is how the finished spot welder should look like. The welding tips are made of solid copper wire from a local hardware store. It's about 5 to 6 mm in diameter. Now, after finishing the spot welder, let's do some test welds. For this, connect the spot welder to the battery. The welder connects to the minus pole of the battery and the other probe connects to the plus pole of the battery. I've built a very simple foot switch for the welder. It's just made of a little bit of wood and a switch inside it. This way I can activate the pulse of the welder with my feet so I have both hands free to hold the welding tips. So let's do some test welds. 
In this case, we want to connect these four batteries in parallel. To connect them, I use 0.17mm thick nickel strips. For this size of nickel strip, a pulse time of 9 milliseconds turned out to get good results. As you can see, the display of the spot welder shows a pulse time of 9 milliseconds. This pulse time can be adjusted by the potentiometer on the board from 0 to 20 milliseconds. To weld, put the two tips as close together as possible and then push the foot switch. While welding, always wear safety glasses because there are some sparks at the tips. With this device, it's very easy to connect batteries together. And the results look very good and the connection is pretty strong. Even when using pliers, it's very hard to pull the welding apart. In the end, some pictures of how the finished spot welder should look like.